hi there. I'm having issues with the video that I posted yesterday. Um, I even forget. See? <laughs> um, the, if you watched it, then you know <clears throat> that it was quite powerful. It was called, or at least the gist of it was, <clears throat> I didn't know that it was love, you know? Um, which is very interesting, actually. I didn't know that it was love. I didn't know. I've never, I've, I, didn't, I don't know what true love looks like. I've never been in a relationship like that. I don't know. That's for some. I find this very interesting, this card comes out, because I was just live on Instagram earlier. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. <clears throat> and normally my lives have quite a bit of people that will watch, you know? Um, and this morning's the energy felt different. And there was very little bit people watching, which was strange, like hundred something. And I wasn't on very long, maybe 10 minutes max. So, you know, normally it's kind of even like here on YouTube, it takes a minute for the numbers to climb up. We know that. A lot of people don't get the message right away, the notification, but something felt strange about it. It felt like whoever was watching me do that live reading in the moment, it was meant for. And I didn't save it either. What it talked about was that a particular <clears throat> connection, a soulmate connection, whether it's non-romantic, karmic, whatever it is, it's about finally acknowledging after carrying this burden or this heavy load or this stress or this, oh my God, I don't know, I don't know. It's like finally releasing it to say, it's not you. It's not you. It doesn't mean it cannot be you. It doesn't mean that in the future it's not me and you in the end. But it's not you right now. The version of this person, <clears throat> the version of this situation, job, whatever this is, it's not a vibrational match to you. Could it still be the same thing in the end? Yes, but things would need to change and shift, right? So it's this whole like, if it's the, the same person that you're saying, okay, listen, it's not you, buddy. It's not you. It's a woman or man, whatever. It doesn't mean it's not them in the end. They could go through an evolution of change. They could go through an awakening. But the fact of the matter is, whatever the current thing, person, relationship, job, whatever the fuck it is, that version of it right now, it's not it. You got to release it. You got to let it go. And our first card here is let go. Let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. It feels like what's important to realize here is that there may have been, and not for all of you, so only take what resonates, this holding on to a version of it in your head, the version of the job you thought it was, and you're trying to squeeze it and force it to be that, or a connection. You, you meet somebody and you're like, it's this, and it's this, and it's this, and it's sort of like the acknowledgement of, it's just not. And it's not to say that it cannot be in the future, but it's to say that it sure is fucking it right now. Now, also in the live that I did earlier on Instagram, it felt like there were some red flags that were hidden that may pop up and bubble up now. And maybe they've always been there, but maybe it was sort of like you refused to see them because they weren't big and they weren't huge. You were expecting huge, you were expecting big, but it wasn't. And it feels like there is this realization of, oh yeah, you know what? <sighs> and it's funny that we go from yesterday's energy of like, I didn't know that that's what true love was. Maybe it's because we've got to go through a situation where we figure out what it's not in order to know what it is. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe I've got to go through all the motions of what it's, what, what love is not. What true love is not in order to say, yeah, okay, now I know what it is because I know what it's not. And in actuality, it's sort of the way I've learned love is like, I know what love does not look like. Now, if you were to ask me what love looks like in this healthy, non-toxic, romantic version, I don't know it for myself through my own eyes, through my own experiences because I've never experienced it. I've only experienced trauma bonding and karmic relationships. So I don't know what it looks like for me because i've never experienced that kind of a healthy romantic love 
regular love, yes, for sure, through our ch our children, through you know your friends, through your family. But romantic, I don't fucking know. But I I can tell you what it does, what it what it's not. And from there, I can figure out what it should be, but I don't know firsthand. Something about the energy of like, okay, it's not what I thought, and it's not this, so therefore, I'm sorry, but I didn't know. I thought it was this. You guys ever heard me talk about the decoys in the past couple of years that I've been channeling? Decoys. Decoys were essential for you to think that they were somebody important, but they weren't. Matter of fact, that's how come a lot of you have a false twin flame because it's like that person is actually a catalyst and some of you may have had more than one a catalyst to crack you open or a catalyst to show you like what in your life is like not working like if you were in a dead-end relationship and a catalyst came along right they were to show you like wow you could have feelings like that for somebody and just because you had feelings for them and all the signs and synchronicities were there it didn't mean that it was meant to be your partner it was just a catalyst they came in to do their job of cracking you open now, you also have here the Queen of Swords, which I find very fitting because you see the snow. It's like it's closing back up again in a sense. I feel like it was hardcore ice and then this melting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? And being like open and vulnerable. And then now like sort of closing back up again. I think that there may have been something that you found out or something that was an epiphany or a red flag showed themselves and now she kind of gets called again she goes back on guard and and to be quite honest with you for some of you that's essential because you're not just supposed to let anybody in you're not just supposed to allow yourself to fall in love with anybody and then go get yourself fucking hurt and hurt your break your own damn heart right everybody play that shit by ear why would you go and get into something purposely knowing that you're gonna it's gonna end up hurting you she's whether it's valid or it's not it doesn't fucking matter the queen of swords means there's emotional detachment closing up being cold again whether she should or she shouldn't it doesn't matter it's there and it's the very first card it also means she's gonna cut something out she's gonna let something go exactly what we talked about letting it go it's definitely not you it's like she says that and she says like in her heart of hearts like i know it it is you maybe or like maybe not right but whatever this is it's like even if it's the same person that comes back in the end this version of you standing in front of me boo boo it ain't you it sure as fuck ain't you not like this maybe it's one-sided maybe they talk a lot of shit but there's no effort maybe they take you for granted maybe they they give you crumbs Maybe they're still with somebody. You don't fuck with somebody else's partner, period. No, the fuck that cannot possibly be the love of your life and, and meant for you to be together right now at this very second while they're with someone else. Again, that's the whole thing we're talking about here. This example is the version of what it is. It's not it right now if they're with somebody. Fuck that. Like, you deserve better. 7.5 billion people in this world? Nah, honey. You trust me. You can find something else. Or this is like a person who's not feeling you. It's not, you guys are not on the same page. Or they just won't put in effort. Listen, whatever this is, something's getting cut out and let go of. A cycle is closing. Mm, 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 look at that, the king of chalices. She goes cold, now he starts feeling. Isn't that a motherfucker? Isn't that a motherfucker? Yesterday's reading, the one that I said is giving me issues on YouTube, so I had to take it down completely. Um, I could feel that somebody was sitting on something and, and what it was is they were sitting on emotions. Could this be an example of where she finally gets sick and tired of this shit of him not showing or making and putting any effort, him or her, however it's going to work? Yeah. Then she says, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to carry the weight of this. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to let go. She lets go. He comes in. It's universal law. It truly is. This is why when we cut cords, and this is something that's very powerful, when you truly, truly do cord cutting, right? Releasing energetic ties. They feel it, and they come back even harder. It's almost like you pull the rubber band. Bing! And when the rubber band comes back, rubber band flies back, boom. Now, that's not always the case for everybody, but you know that in our past, with a lot of people that we had karmic, energetic connections with, especially the karmics, it's always the karmics, it hits the hardest. 
the false twins, you know, and it's still like it's it, the, the, the lesson was trying to force something into something and it wasn't that it, it's all vibrational. It's not personal. It's vibrational. Can the same thing come back at a different vibration and finally be a match? Yes, but it ain't this right here right now at this motherfucking thing. She cuts him off. She lets go. He starts feeling something. I don't know why. If this is like symbolic for you and your thing, I don't know. Look, see, bottom of the deck, king of swords. See, he, this is how he was. It's funny because I feel like they switch off constantly. I feel like she was in her, remember I said that. Oh my God, she was open. She was vulnerable. And then he was like this. More closed up. Not vulnerable. Not wanting to connect at a deeper level. Giving crumbs. Whatever the fuck oh my fucking god i've never seen anything like it look what was under that the king of one i've never seen anything like it four kings i've never seen anything like this ever why do i say four kings because it's three of them because it feels like this particular energy, it's an evolution. It's almost like the four seasons. It's so essential for us to go through all four seasons in life. You know what I mean? Of And that's the thing is people try and avoid winter. Their winter in their life. Yeah, the nothingness, the barren, the, the dead. And it's like, how the fuck are you going to avoid winter? You only want it to be spring and summer? How the fuck is it only going to be light? It has to be dark too. It's just that natural organic process. But it feels like this is like, they're evolving into all four seasons. In, in They're evolving into like king, queen, god, goddess, emperor, empress, whatever you're gonna say. Which one's missing is the king of pentacles. It's the actual offer. So the king of pentacles comes later with the actual offer. There was no offer for many of you, there was nothing she cuts it out she said you know what it actually is a red flag that i've been i've been actually avoiding or maybe i really truly didn't see see the ten of pentacles below that ten of pentacles is that solid long-term commitment so even though the king of pentacles is not here all four kings i'm telling you right now whether he shows up or he does not this is what he's this is the end result and if it doesn't become the end result for you in this situation then it's not the right person then it's not meant to be right the devil capricorn restrictions obsession could be why he comes in cold from the beginning um whether it's because he's just a cold person dry boring right that could be it too right with the king of swords very dry and boring um and that's hard to connect with you know it's very hard you've got to be able to be a little bit open the king of wands is more spicy he takes action he's alpha the king of chalices is, is is feeling he connects right you cannot just be only one particular energy it just doesn't work like that so the devil here is restrictions, feeling sexual attraction, even possibly, right? Being obsessed for some. Avoiding it. The four of swords. Retreat. Hermit mode. See, it's winter again, too. Look. Retreating. Retreating back. It's like when the bear is going to hibernation during winter the harfin a blessing the harfin is blessing somebody it could also be a taurus it could be marriage and union they're blessing this masculine it's almost like giving him his consent for what i don't know it could be a million things this divine masculine could be graduating into the hierophant brotherhood sort of an energy right the whole melchizedek metatron thing could also just be leveling up spiritually because a very small group of people will resonate with the whole Metatron thing with the Brotherhood. Yeah, very few are picked for that. Very few can pass the test for that. How many of them will be actually standing in the end? We don't know yet. They haven't finished their tests. We don't know. So the Hierophant is also number five. It's changes. Three of Swords. There's that heartbreak. it's this is hurting me i can't keep doing this that's what i keep hearing in my head it's a burden i, I it's, it's stressing me out it feels awful 
Oh my God, look at that, how beautiful she's pregnant, picking these fruits. Seven of Pentacles, planting her seeds. See, she wants to plant her seeds in a place where it's going to fucking grow, not in a place where it doesn't. And again, we got to go through winter. There's going to be seasons of nothingness. But this is what it feels like. It feels like it's like they're, it's, they're not on the same page. They're just not. When it's winter for her, it's like summer for him. And, and what's symbolic about that too is it could be like that, that type of gap and, and that like literally not being on the same page. Sun and moon kind of shit, right? But it's like that's what her end result she wants she wants to be able to say i plant seeds i invest my time in a person or a thing and this is what happens in the end it's the birth of a new cycle it's beautiful things coming it felt like that that didn't happen in this job or this person of this old thing didn't happen nothing's happening winter came and went spring came and went summer came and went fall came and went then it's winter again and it's like um oh okay not to say that things have to happen rapidly but i'm telling you whoever this is for you're going to know what this means you're going to be like fucking spot on like exactly what it is the princess of wands she has a letter here that she's opened up and now she's looking toward the horizon i i feel it too i feel like there could have been something that was discovered a message and it could have been something that you go oh fuck and it like opens your eyes and you see something differently it could be something that may have broken your heart for some of you with the three of swords finding something out but you know what it feels like it feels like it's the truth like the truth of something you like you see it how it really is it's almost as if like she's looking towards the future again it's whatever is happening it's not right now and, and it's the whole wait for it that i've been feeling and channeling for forever wait for it wait for the different version of it it's not this version it's not this job it's not this person seven of swords deception she's holding a peacock feather too see that seven of swords trying to get away with something princess of swords could be a younger air sign here but she's also spying this is spying keeping track keeping tabs shit like that you know? on the lookout you see both of them it's like on the lookout looking towards the future that could be really symbolic of looking towards the future i don't know how many of you will resonate with this princess of chalices see how she's looking up and she's smelling this flower somebody is giving her this flower see how funny it is you don't know who it is you can't see who it is I don't know. I can't see who it is. It's the king of, of, of pentacles. I guarantee it. The tower. Something happens very suddenly. Divine intervention. A sudden ending brings on a sudden new beginning. I just got the chills. I just got the chills. A sudden ending. Letting go. Cutting something out. Brings on a sudden new beginning. King of chalices feelings. You don't let them go so they feel something. You let them go because bye. Because bye. Justice. Getting due justice. Now the scales are balanced. See, it even shows it in here. The difference of night and day. And the difference between literally, look at that. It's winter and it's summer or spring. See, I just talked about that. Like not being on the same page, but it's okay because yin and yang and shit, right? But it just feels like this could be it too. Somebody here was avoiding winter. And it throws off the, the course of things because you got to go through winter. Yeah? You got to go through all the seasons. It's something about it just being off in however this works for you. And ten, of, ten of Pentacles, the long-term commitment. Financial abundance, but it's a long-term commitment. That's the offer. Funny how the King of Pentacles is hiding. Ten of Wands, there's that heavy burden that you're letting go of, right? It's uphill battle. It's like pulling teeth. It's like trying to force it. You're trying to manifest it. You're trying to make it work. You're trying to make it fit, and it does not fit. It does not fit. Whatever this is, it does not fit. Nine of Swords, fears, worries, feeling stressed. The Chariot, then something happens. It's a shift. Chariot could be Cancerian energy, but it also is a, like a delivery. Forward progress. Victory. 
Six of Swords, movement, travel. It feels like movement because of chariot again. Movement. Feels like... I'm sorry, but I'm just really focused how the King of Pentacles is here. He's here, but he's hiding. Feels so symbolic, you know. It feels so symbolic. Three of Wands, look at her wishing on a falling star. Making a wish. A wish comes true. Oh, look at the sun. Gorgeous. Sun is masculine, divine masculine. Truth, awakening, the happiest card in the entire fucking deck. It's almost as if like they're hiding on purpose too. Nine of chalices, nine of cups. Look at the ladybug. Wish fulfillment. There he is. There he fucking is. See him? Look, what's, look, what, look what it came out with. The Knight of Swords. He's hiding, 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 hiding. And then all of a sudden, it could be some kind of very abrupt communication comes in. Knight of Swords is rushing in. He, he's hiding, 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 hiding. Boom, rushes in. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a reading like this. Where all four kings come out. I knew he was going to come out too. I could feel it. And it would be the one where it's his offer. Look at his treasure chest is open too. This is probably a big dick energy person. Someone who's very like well established. Could be very financially stable. We know that because you also have the ten of pentacles. But this is a solid long term offer. And it looks like it comes in suddenly. Whether this is a brand new person. Someone brand fucking new comes in. Or, and they, they've gone through all four seasons and they've gone through their evolution, right? They come in and they meet you at a higher vibration. Or if this is the same person or thing that just evolves and changes and now comes in at a higher vibration. Because you're not going to lower yourself to meet people. You're going to stay high vibe and keep continuing to ascend higher. That's what you're here for. You're not here to stop and, and wait and oh, come on and then lower your shit. That's what you want to do. That's on you, boo-boo the stars see destined and faded this is a destined and faded thing however it ends up working out whether it's a brand new person and you go yeah that old one wasn't it it definitely that definitely wasn't love and or 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 the two of you guys go wow i've never been in a healthy relationship i've never encountered my true love so i didn't know what to do I didn't know how to act. I don't know what to do with the shit. I didn't recognize it. It went over my head. I didn't know. It's like, it's like I didn't know that that's what love was. I didn't know. And for some of you, this is how you're going to know what love is because you know what it ain't. It's definitely not you. Like for some, this is a sure thing. And you let it go with everything in your heart and you say, bye, say la vie, peace the fuck out. And it is very possible that the very same thing that you release and let go of could be what comes right back to you. Very true. You know, there is that saying, if you love something, let it free. Set it free, right? If it comes back to you, it was meant to be. And that's very possible, right? It could work out just like that. Very possible. Very possible. All right. So let's go ahead and get a couple more cards out here so that we can close up this reading actually beautiful beautiful energy i want to do the whispers of love let's put the true love card back in there hold on let me flip my ipad over it's just distracting every time it lights up and i look at it it's like oh holy motherfuck romance lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection and that's what was lacking that is exactly what was lacking for a lot of you is that there was not that personal attention on you this person may have been giving his attention to other people she may have been giving her attention to other people or they weren't giving their attention to any fucking body because they were just so closed up now it's like connecting i'm going to connect with you i and lavish means to just sort of like pour on to this abundance of affection time time is such an important thing i know really really busy people i've entertained really busy people like you're talking these are like fucking these are busy people traveling all over the world 
running empires and fucking Fortune 500 business. And they can make time. Versus a person who's just like not doing much and that person not doing much is like, oh, I, I just didn't have time today. You didn't have time today? Really? The dude who's like catching planes and flights and has all these 7,000 things to do found time and you couldn't find time. 30 seconds in your day to text, hey, how you doing? I was busy today. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Whatever. You, who are you fooling, boo-boo? Who are you fooling? Not fooling me. Don't ever get fooled by that. Have you ever been into somebody? Bitch, as busy as you fucking are. No matter if you only have 10 seconds that day to text, hey, oh my God, oh my God, you going to text that person because you can't get them out of your head. Don't be fooled by that shit. I mean, I'm just saying from my own perspective, fuck that. Nah, I don't play that shit. I was just so busy. Like, I just was so busy. You were so busy for 24 fucking hours straight. For fucking 24 hours straight. Nah. No, no, no. It's just you didn't want to. And just say that. It's more, I can respect that more for somebody to just be all like, I just didn't, wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to do it. So, be honest. So I can cut you the fuck out. Don't try and like hold a spot there and, and have me try and like hold on to some shit when you don't deserve the position. You don't deserve the position. You get fucking cut. It's like in everything in life, right? Even like in sports. You don't make it, you get cut. That's what it is. I feel like we need another one. They're kind of hard to shuffle. They're big and they're sort of like thick and strange. Because, you know, we do flyers when they fly out. Some decks you can't. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. So you will always consider them. Oh, you know how you gotta, it's, it's law of attraction. Feel as if you already have it. You're not alone. How are you alone? In the ethers, you guys are together. In an alternate universe, you guys are married with kids, with a golden retriever, with the fucking white picket fence, with the fucking, you guys be going to soccer practice every day. You be going to soccer games on Saturday. But you be cutting the crust off these sandwiches for these children that you have in the ethers. You, <laughs> but then we don't live in the ethers. And I always tell you guys, you know me, I'm a realist, honey, okay? We don't live in the motherfucking ethers. So you got to be realistic. But also that feeling of them being already there. I feel like that all the time. I feel like I'm already in love with somebody. I just haven't found who he is yet. Or haven't quite been able to work out the kinks of it, if you will. So do I already act as if my partner is here in a sense? That's why I, I just feel like I'm just sort of, or I feel like I'm already in love. Bottom of the decks, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Even winter, even when there's nothingness. Even in the cocoon. The, the, the caterpillar thinks its life is over in the cocoon. Little does it know it's just about to break free and become this way better version of itself. Isn't that incredible? There is a miracle here. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. It just feels like somebody here was closed up. They weren't willing to open up. They weren't willing to meet you halfway. Weren't willing to give anything. There was nothing. You can't do nothing with nothing. Not where it's like where the person refuses to put energy and the energy is like this, such an extreme mismatch. You know what I mean? This can't, it's just not going to work. It can't happen. This, is kind of, this reading is sort of ah, all over the place, but I'm not even bullshitting. Yesterday's energy was, I didn't know that that's what true love looks like. It went over my head. And we're running into this energy today of like letting people go that are truly, truly not meant to be there so that you can make space for those who are you had bad health come out. Something with someone not feeling well. This could also be very symbolic of the pandemic itself. Someone is, because you know, it's COVID. It's a privileged lady. She is the counterpart to the wealthy man. Privileged lady might not be feeling well. She, is something here about the thief taking something from her. Someone could have died. 
Someone that she loved could have died from a bad health situation. They could have gotten sick. Be careful they want to take stuff from her. See, this is her finally acknowledging, like, listen, I think you're only taking advantage of me. Or I think I'm giving more than you're giving me. It's sort of like she's finally saying, nah. Nah. Let's say this is a job. And the job is taking advantage of you by not paying you what you deserve or making you work all these hours and making you do things way outside of your job duty and title. And they're just literally straight up fucking taking advantage of you. Oh my God, look what I stopped on. Marriage number three. <sighs> Pathway, something else opens up. A new option. And the new option could be brand fucking new, but it could also be the same thing. Because I can't do nothing with this version of what this is in front of me. I'm, I can't do shit with it. Not the person, not the job. If it's anything of those sorts, whatever that version is in front of you, you can't do shit with it. Like, listen, I may not know what true love looks like, but I sure as hell fucking know what, 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 the, what, what, the, 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 this, the, the, this, this, the, this, this ain't it. This definitely ain't true love, I can assure you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, could it evolve into it? Oh, okay, sure, whatever, right? But this? Oh, but with this ain't it. Not this ain't it. Nah. Nah. Half-assed, crumbs, not no effort, someone avoiding their evolution, trying to avoid winter. Like, nah. Nah. Contemplate. See, that's where she at. She's like, mm-mm. It's like she's thinking about something again, and, she, and I feel like, again, it could have been something that was, was um, found out. Something may have been realized. Makes her start thinking, like, uh-oh. Oh, my God. I don't know. Giving her second thoughts. The world. <clears throat> completion of huge cycles. And the hermit. See, she went through that. She went through the fucking hermit mode and been through the cocoon. She's a butterfly. I think what it is is that there may have been a person or a job situation that you were trying to fluff it up and, and say, it, it's this. And it wasn't. And it's okay to admit that it's not. Because it's about what's fucking reality. The reality is, is this what it is or it's not? Constantly saying it's what it is is not going to turn it into the thing. But it's my twin flame. But it's the person I'm meant to be with. How? They're giving nothing but crumbs. They don't reciprocate. They're with another person. Or it's a stranger. You don't even know. It's like, it's like you got to be realistic. It's okay to be in love with a stranger. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. We've done many readings about that. But what I mean is like, where it's so unrealistic. You see what I'm saying? You got to make sure that it's like realistic. See, I told you it's a fucking light bulb. She found something out. Literally, the light bulb says, reveal realize i fucking told you something came out she may have seen a red flag she goes oh my god no fucking way i thought this this person was through the cocoon already i thought they were the butterfly you gotta be careful because a lot of people the, the 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 fad nowadays is to be awakened you see a lot of people out there trying to talk their shit about it i read energy i know when someone's full of shit not everybody has gone through the cocoon. No, they haven't. There's a realization here. An epiphany. I told you it's what it was. I told you. She found something out. The trophy. Victory. Recognition. She also recognized something. Fame, success, goals, ambition, achievement. See, this is the road that she's headed towards. He or she, right? Whoever this is that has already gone through the process, right? The person has already done their shit. They're the prize. You know what's so funny is I just posted on my Instagram today something from Selena Gomez. And it was an interview that she did. And she basically says, hold on. It's, and you know I don't post shit by accident too. She says, but now I have expectations. Where it's like if I were to do this or if I were to give you, are you strong enough? Are you capable of being someone that's going to be in my life? That's how I approach things now. And I'm not being conceited. I'm saying it's actually an honor to be with me. Because I think I'm a great person. And I love people deeply. 
and I won't tolerate ever being treated like that again. See, that's what she says in her interview. Where it's like, if I... And it's like exactly this. It's almost like she realizes like, I'm the prize. I'm not going to settle. This job's going to treat me right or I'm gone. This person's going to treat me right or I'm gone. I'm not going to force it to be something that it's not. I don't know what true love looks like because I've never been in a true love connection, but something tells me this ain't it. And it ain't this at this vibration. Could it be it? Sure. But it ain't this. It ain't this right here, right now, like this. Someone here is destined for fame and success. What it is, is they are going to be discovered. Someone here becomes discovered. They're going to hit it big. An author, a poet, an actor, a singer, whoever, whatever this is. Someone gets discovered. See where they're headed? See why you're not going to drop down in fucking vibration and lower yourself? Because you're headed somewhere, aren't you? You're headed somewhere really big. You either come up and meet or you don't. But you don't go down and you lower your shit. Not for you, not for them, not for nobody. It's like, why would I do that if I'm the prize? Yes, exclamation mark. Look at the sun and moon, one in each hand. Night and day. Balance. Yin and yang. Yes, somebody says yes, exclamation mark. Maybe someone asks you a question and that's your response. Will you marry me? Yes. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Your guides, your ancestors may be speaking to you right now. Yeah, it's giving you signs and synchronicities. Do you hear it? Are you seeing it? Some people avoided red flags. Look, you have you ready. I bet you fucking are. Trust. I bet you fucking are. I bet you are ready. This is what love doesn't look like. <laughs> oh, yesterday's reading was so beautiful too. I don't know what happened with it. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, it's the whole thing of like sometimes when I do lives, they don't save. Some readings just sort of, I don't know, maybe it's only meant for a certain group of people. Maybe it's only meant to be watched in the moment. I don't know how that works. It's not for us to understand. It just is what it is. Ace of fucking cups. Look at it. It's like the Holy Grail. Look at the dove and look at how the cup it runneth over. My cup runneth over. It's the Holy Grail of love. That's the true love. And you never experienced it right and you go i don't know what it is but it ain't this i know what love is because i know what love is not i know what it looks like because i love me and i treat myself as a priority and i know how to practice self-love i know what love looks like because i give it to myself so that's why self-love is so important when i love me and i know what love looks like i can recognize it in another person Maybe that's what it is. Maybe for some of you, you're coming completely full circle, finally graduating, if you will. Finally, this huge completion of a cycle of the self-love thing. And finally, that's like that last ding. Like, holy shit. You know what? I do know what love looks like. You know what? I do know what true love looks like. Because I love me. Maybe that's the huge big thing for some of you. It's like this fucking huge realization of like, I do know what it looks like because I love me. And, I, and, and that's what I expect someone else to treat me that way the way i treat me you're gonna step to me you're gonna treat me how i treat me or you or you gotta go you're gonna get to step in six of cups look at her dreaming fantasizing thinking about a past life there's a past life connection deep past life connection but it's also her connecting with her past lives she's remembering this is memories memories all of I'm sorry, I'm not going to make you guys go through it. Unfortunately, they channel songs to me. It's my thing, you know. You guys know from watching. But you also know that my thing is not singing. Which I'm honest about. Because I'm self-aware. I know I can't. I don't, don't sound pleasant singing. I get it. Queen of Wands. She's about to make a move. I told you she's going to break through. She's bursting through the soil, if you will. She's blooming. We're going from winter 
to spring. See why it's super important for people to go through all of the seasons and processes? Because even though it looks like winter was nothing, for some people it's when the most happened because it's what happens beneath the surface that you don't see. When you plant a seed, there's a lot that goes on with the, with the roots below the surface, right? That doesn't mean nothing's happening. It means that you can't see it. Is what it is. You can't see it. This, this could be a huge part of the message too. Things that you didn't see happening, the facade, the decoy. Well, I thought that this was what it was. I thought this was love. Oh, it's not love? Is that what it is? Oh my God, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You do, you, it was within you all along. You know like how in Wizard of Oz, you had the power all along, my dear? The moon, moon is secret. We have a full moon coming this weekend. I believe it's on Sunday. It's one of the, it's, it's this weekend. It's the full moon in Leo, I believe it is. I could be wrong. I just know there's a full moon this weekend. But releasing, the, the moon is about hidden and secret. I'm telling you something was revealed. Five of Pentacles. Now there's a feeling of loss and justice again. You lose something, you gain something. See how that work? You got to give to get. See how that work? I lose it, but I gain it. I may lose people, but I gain myself, my own self, my own self-respect. It could be you lose a person, they come back the same motherfucker, different. Look at that, seven of pentacles, planting the seeds. Exactly what we spoke about, planting the seeds. Death, there's that rebirth, and then the ace of wands, bottom of the deck. So there's action, there's movement, something begins, something starts growing after nothing. This is like winter, if you will. This is death. The end. Maybe having to let it go. Maybe calling it quits. Maybe releasing. Maybe letting it die and wither away. Only for it to, through a process of natural, organic time, it begins to grow and bloom the way it's supposed to. Maybe some of you are like beating, uh, beating a dead horse, a situation. You're constantly trying to water a dead plant, as they call it. Maybe you gotta just let it go. Let the shit do its thing. Maybe it's supposed to completely die out, like the phoenix. The phoenix rises up from its ashes. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. If you wanna book a reading with me, the description box below shows everything that I offer and how to get in touch with me. If you would like to purchase my crystal bracelets or purchase an extended reading for any of my you know, YouTube videos, some of them have extended. Go to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. My little new additions. Cute, huh? Along with that big motherfucker. It's a gardenia. Woohoo! That's a very sensitive spot. If you know, you know. All right, I'll see you guys later. Love you.